Nicole Willett is the Education Director of the Mars Society. She joins me now via Skype. Nicole, is this crazy or really cool and doable? It is really cool and a little bit crazy, but it is <laughs> doable. There is nothing um, technologically impossible about the Mars One project. However, there are uh, other projects such as Inspiration Mars, which is a flyby mission, and it's less technologically daunting. We wish good luck to Mars One, and we support all of the endeavors for humans going to Mars. If, if it works out and uh, a human walks on Mars, what would that first experience, that first contact, actually be like? Well, it would be wonderful. It would be a vast desert and people would look out across there and humans would be rallied together and it would pave the way for more exploration and, and future settlement of Mars. What would some of the challenges be for this Mars One project from you know, a, a approving applicants to all the training and actually going on that one-way ticket? What, what would the training involve? The training would be um, learn mostly psychological issues are um, what's in question. Um, can people, can a very few people live together for a very long time isolated and go from um, a very mellow existence living on a spacecraft for six to eight months to a lot of very quick reactions? to landing on the planet, because anything can happen when you enter an atmosphere of a planet. What would living on Mars actually be like day to day? I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look like, it would be exciting to be there, but it doesn't look like any fun. It will be super cold. There's just a lot of dust and sand and nothing, there's nothing. Well, um, Mars is considered to be the second most hospitable planet next to Earth in the solar system. It has a very thin atmosphere, so astronauts would have to live inside enclosed habitats that are pressurized with an artificial atmosphere. So that would allow them to breathe, right. and they would have to wear astronaut suits anytime they went outside until the future when we terraform the planet and um, melt some of the water thick in the atmosphere, and then humans could go outside and live uh, normally, we would grow trees and right. um, be rivers and lakes. And Nicole, you know, Ma the Mars One Project also wants to do a reality TV show around this. What do you think of that? As someone who takes, uh, from the Mars Society, that takes this stuff seriously, is this a publicity stunt or would it just be a fantastic idea? Well, I think anything that brings attention to humans to Mars missions is can potentially be a good thing. I think that um, a reality show in America, we have the reality shows, they kind of want people to um, have arguments and that makes for good TV. Um, I don't think that would be a good thing on such an important mission where you have to really be intelligent and able to cooperate and have teamwork. <laughs> the big brother type style of what might not work out. Listen, Nicole, quick tip for my application. What should I write on the application? Because you know I'm going to try. <laughs> well, just say that you can work as a team player and you're psychologically <laughs> stable. 